Welcome to ManuTD News, your source for the latest news, analysis, and highlights about Manchester United. Last Friday, Marcus Rashford, Manchester United's forward, was awarded the Premier League's Player of the Month for February. As a standout player for the Red Devils, Rashford scored five goals in four games during the period and helped his team win the English League Cup, scoring one of the goals in their 2-0 victory against Newcastle. This was the third time this season that Rashford received the award for Best Player of the Month, equaling Mohamed Sulla's record in the 2017-18 season. On Thursday, Rashford scored one of the goals in United's 4-1 victory against Real Betis in the UEFA Europa League, becoming the tournament's top scorer. He has scored 26 goals this season, five times more than in 2021-22, when he only scored in five opportunities. In addition to Rashford's award, two other awards were given to Manchester United. Eric Ten Hag won the Best Coach of the Month, surpassing Marco Silva from Fulham and Antonio Conti from Tottenham. Along with him, David De Gea was awarded the Best Goalkeeper of the Month, having only conceded three goals in the Premier League in February. Manchester United will return to the field tomorrow at 11 a.m., hosting Southampton at Old Trafford in a match valid for the 27th round of the Premier League. Last weekend, Manchester United suffered a shocking 7-0 defeat to Liverpool at Anfield. The result was a shock to the Red Devils' campaign this season, which had been much superior to their rivals. In the following game after the historic defeat, Eric Ten Hag's team won 4-1 against Batiste in the Europa League, a result that greatly facilitates Manchester United's passage to the next phase of the competition. Against Batiste, Manchester United had a much better performance than their rivals, with Rashford shining and leading the team in the recovery process after the traumatic result from the weekend. After the victory against Batiste, the forward Anthony commented on the impact that the defeat to Liverpool had on the team. We know that the result is never acceptable. It was important to show a reaction. I was very happy to see the support of the fans. There are always 70,000 or more fans in this stadium, it is impressive. They are our fuel. We will put this club where it deserves to be, the Red Devils forward began, praising the English supporters. The Dutch coach of the Red Devils was as outraged as the fans after the Anfield embarrassment. He took measures to ensure that it would not be repeated and it seems to have brought results. We know it is harder for the coach, because he is the face of the club, giving interviews all the time. It was difficult for him, for all of us, and we took it as a lesson. He was tough with us in the right way at the right time. But we are all facing what is in front of us now. The group is united, and the fans are on our side. That's the most important thing, the Red Devils forward concluded. If you enjoyed reading this news article, Please like and subscribe to our channel for more updates.